Hey guys, that's exactly right. You know, this is a big issue. We are traveling on I-75 northbound right now because we had to turn around uh, just to give you guys a look of I-75. Earlier today, traffic was moving pretty slowly going southbound. You can probably still see it in my shot here. Uh, right now, it's moving pretty steadily. We did see some cars traveling on the shoulder, which is illegal, by the way, until, uh, you know, further notice from, you know, instructions from uh, officials, obviously. But so the situation out here is the following. The Santa Fe River is rising rapidly. And so uh, we've got crews uh, monitoring the, the water levels very closely. There was a portion of I-75 right before the bridge where you can see that water almost level two portions of, uh, of I-75. Now, in case that this bridge, uh, is rather that the water does uh, continue to rise here, I-75 would be shut down, obviously, for safety purposes. We do not know. I mean, it could possibly be completely underwater uh, at any given moment. Again, if the water, uh, if the water levels continue to rise. Now, if that happens, there will be a major detour on I-75. This is not good, especially for all the folks that are trying to head back into Central and South Florida. Remember. There are only uh, really two ways to get down to South Florida, I-95 and I-75. Now, FDOT does have a map. Uh, they put it out on social media and Twitter as well. And I think uh, we actually might have it on our website. If not, we'll get it up there for you. And it shows um, alternate routes. Again, uh, if, you, if you're looking at the shot right now on either direction of I-75, it's just, I mean, it's woods. You can't just... You can't just take a detour. Again, uh, crews are out here monitoring this very closely 24 seven and uh, we will as well. Back to you guys. All right, honey Rodriguez, you definitely have to be close out there on the roadways. That's right.